Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Cabbage Patch Stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. It's a fairly fun stitch to work. The stitch itself, the pattern, is made up with double crochet stitches. You'll see in the rows down here at the bottom and in the middle, you have these clusters of four double crochet stitches together. And then each of the return rows are done also using double crochet stitches, but there are two of them that are crossed over one another, which is giving you this almost uh, braided or textured cabled look down the center of these horizontal rows here. So it's a fun stitch to work. It works up pretty quickly once you get started. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials such as the one that you're about to see now. Once uh, you are ready to crochet along with me, grab your hook and your yarn and we will get started. Okay, so to begin our cabbage patch stitch, you are going to begin by making your slip knot. And then for this pattern, you are going to need a multiple of four stitches plus seven. So just simply count uh, your stitches, one, two, three, four, in multiples of four until you come to your desired length. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then once you have your desired length, add on an extra seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Once you have your chain, that is your desired length, you're going to begin row one by working four double crochet stitches in the fifth chain from your hook. So count in five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to work four double crochet stitches into that stitch. To work your double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and draw the loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two more. So you are now going to work three more double crochet stitches into that same chain for a total of four. Next you will skip three chains, one, two, three, and work four double crochet stitches in the next chain. You will now repeat that all the way across to the end. Skip the next three chains and work four double crochet stitches in the next. skip three and work four. In row one, once you come to your final two chains, you're simply going to place one double crochet stitch in that final chain. And that is the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Next, you are going to start working your cross two double crochet stitches. If you take a look at your first row, you will see that you have now these clusters of four double crochet stitches. So you have these sets. To work your cross two double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over you're going to find the furthest double crochet stitch on the left, so that fourth double crochet stitch, and you're going to insert your hook and you're going to work one double crochet stitch. 
So you're skipping the other three that were in between. You will then chain two. And now working back to that first double crochet stitch in that set of cluster stitches, you're going to yarn over Working behind the double crochet stitch you just worked, you're going to insert your hook back in that first double crochet stitch of that set of four. Okay, so I'll show you that again. You've worked your, let's just go back, you're going to work your first double crochet stitch in that fourth double crochet of that cluster. So you can skip three, one, two, three, and that fourth one, work your first double crochet stitch. Chain two. You're going to bring your hook in behind the stitch just worked and go back to that first double crochet stitch of the cluster, insert your hook in the top of it, and work your double crochet stitch. So what you end up having is something that looks a little bit messy at first, but something that looks like this. This is your chain three, this is your first double crochet stitch that you worked across, and then your chain two, and then in behind you came back and you worked your second double crochet stitch. So those two stitches are crossed over one another. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So you're going to work, you're going to skip the first in the next cluster, skip the first three double crochet stitches, work one double crochet in the top of that fourth one, chain two, bring your hook in behind that stitch you just worked, and working back in that first double crochet of that set of four, going to insert your hook through the top of it. Yarn over and drop your loop and complete your double crochet stitch. Repeat it for the next cluster. Yarn over, skip the first three in that next cluster, insert your hook in that final double crochet stitch and work your double crochet. Chain two. Yarn over, go back to the first stitch in that cluster in behind the one you just worked, insert your hook, and complete the stitch. So continue that all the way across. When you come to your turning chain three, at the end of your row, you're going to double crochet in the third chain or in the top of that turning chain. So at the end of your row two, you will have something that looks like this. You have your clusters down here of double crochet stitches. In this row right here, you have your crossed two double crochet stitches. For row three, you're going to start by chaining three and you're going to turn your work. Now, working in each of those two chain two spaces, you are going to work four double crochet into each space. So yarn over, find that first chain two space in between your two cross stitches, and work four double crochet stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. So find your next chain two space in between your two cross stitches and work four double crochet stitches. Find your next chain two space and work four double crochet stitches.
You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final turning chain three, you will simply double crochet in the top or in the third chain of that turning chain. Now I'll just pull back so you can see what you'll have. So you have your bottom row of clusters, you have your return row where you're doing your double, uh, your cross double, two double crochet stitches, and now you have one more row of double crochet clusters up in the top, always worked in that chain two space. Now to continue working that pattern, all you're going to do is repeat rows two and three. So for your next row, you'll chain three and turn your work. Now once again, working, taking those uh, cluster stitches, you're going to work your crossed two double crochet in that first cluster. So your first double crochet is worked in that fourth one. So skip the first three double crochet, work your double crochet stitch, chain two, and now yarn over and working in behind, you're going to go back to that first double crochet in the cluster and yarn over and complete your stitch. Move on to the next one. Work the first double crochet in that fourth stitch of the cluster, chain two, yarn over, and then cross, work your second one in the first double crochet of that cluster. Repeat that all the way across. Work your final double crochet in the top of your chain three. And then you will once again repeat row three. Just at the end of row two, double crochet in the top of that chain three and get ready to start your next row. Chain three and turn. Your row three, you'll remember, is your four double crochet stitches in that chain two space and repeat that all the way across. And that's all there is to this cabbage patch stitch. It might be a little tricky to get a hang of um, at first, especially those crossed two double crochet stitches, but keep at it and uh, you'll get it eventually. And I'm sure you'll be pleased with the results. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope, for, hope to see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.